your host Anika Chung. I'm back with a brand new reaction and this was requested by Marty. Saturday Night Live 1978 weekend update. Roseanne, Rosanna Dana, the topic is about smoking. I've been a fan of SNL and Mad TV since I was a kid. Anyone who came from these shows were successful being in big films and TV series. And there's a long list of actors and actresses who made my Saturday nights lit. So y'all, let's jump right into the video. Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> this past Thursday was the Great American Smoke Out, a day that everyone in America was encouraged to stop smoking cigarettes for a 24 hour period. Here to comment further if that is could happen. health correspondent <laughs> and Rosanna Dana. <laughs> That 
I enjoy that. That was hilarious. Miss Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. Well, she knows her stuff for sure. Yes, and unfortunately, we cannot live in a world without cigarettes for 24 hours. That would be awesome if we did. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about. That is some real journalism right there. This is my first time watching Roseanne, Rosanna Dana skit. This was funny, especially when she's giving her thoughts about smoking and then extends the conversation, mentioning about going to a fitness club. So true though. Oh, when she made those points. I used to work for a gym, and I will say Lifetime Fitness in Canada is an amazing club, but expensive. I was only there for one day. Now, before I get carried away like Roseanne, Rosanna and Dana, I will say, yeah, she is hilarious. Gilda Radner created a character that was definitely unforgettable. I watched a few other clips on YouTube, and one of my favorite skits was King Tut. That was hilarious. She was gone too soon, and actually she was married to Mr. Willy Wonka, Gene Wilder. They worked on several films together, and the last film they did was 1986, Haunted Honeymoon. You learn something every day in film history. And what is your favorite Roseanne, Rosanna and Dana skit? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, see you next pictures. Cheers and Merry Christmas! Bye! Each bell would peal with a silvery zeal as the holiday fe- Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.